Good afternoon. I am at my boyfriend's house and he has said that we can do a house tour video. So let's go. So the first thing we do is we come in through this front door here and here is the kitchen. First thing to say, my house is very old. It was built around about 1700 and a few years ago somebody very kindly sent me a copy of the original deeds signed 1711 or something. So it's a very old cold house so you'll notice a lot of features as we go along. For example, this unique apparatus here. You'll wonder what this is but hey presto. <laughs> This is what they used to insulate camper vans and uh, someone said that might be an idea to keep the draft out of your house. Anyway, very ordinary kitchen. The only thing I'll say about it is that if you're ever doing a kitchen, don't have a work surface like this because you cannot see bits and bobs of dirt, dust or standing water. It's an absolute nightmare to keep clean. I was just thinking, I've got loads of pictures in my house, so maybe I'll tell you about them. This picture was done by my youngest I've son. got that light reflection on there, right? And he was about seven, and at the time I thought, oh my god, he's an artistic genius. But actually I think it's just a bit of old scribble, but it's quite good. I like, I've always liked it. It's interesting. No idea what it is. Obviously it's some attempt to abstract people. Anyway, on this side, there's some screen prints that were my aunt when she was in school, which I rather like. So I've got those two. Moving right. on. Going into the dining room. So here's my dining room. Don't use it very often for dining. As you can see, the table is covered in unfinished projects. Anyway, I've got a lovely old stone fireplace with a wood burning stove, which I don't use very often. And above it is a wonderful picture of Dennis the Menace from the British magazine, The Beano, which we used to have when we were kids. For those of you that don't know, Dennis is a character that Imo would describe as a very naughty boy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so he's become a hero, needless to say. Over there on the left, there's a picture I did when I was in school, a print of Stonehenge. Oh! And we were just looking at a documentary on Stonehenge last night, weren't we? We were, yeah. It's beautiful. Well, it's just car spray with a stencil, but anyway. Wow, I think it's lovely. And in this corner is <laughs> the shrine to Isabel. Above is the picture she gave me at Christmas, she painted. It's a slight in joke in that picture, but. Is there? Yeah, we won't go into that. Oh. And two pictures of Isabel below, dressed up as Blousey Brown, when she did the production of Bugsy Malone. And there's another painting as he did. And what are these little oh, artifacts yeah. here? Well, then the bottles and containers are things that the lads have found during the course of their work. And the shells and stones are like sentimental, slightly pointless trinkets that I've collected over the years from various places. I was thinking I should archive those actually, but there it is. At the moment, they're still there. So on here is a picture of Isabel dear that she said, if I was a woman, that's what I'd look like. <laughs> it's quite flattering, so I've left it up. <laughs> <laughs> And here are two pictures on the wall, two pictures done from a, a fiddle playing artist friend of mine. And they're called Weaver 1 and 2. Very nice they are, aren't they? That's something Izzy did there, the life is good. Yeah, yeah, I pinched that from bedroom when she was away. <laughs> and, uh, something you had for Christmas? Yeah, from the boys. <laughs> Beatles were slightly before my time, just for the record, but uh, my folks <laughs> used to play Beatles records when we were kids a lot. The Fab Four. Immortalised in Lego. So a bit of a sort of Welsh dressery affair going on there with lots of photos of boats. You might notice a little bit of a boat thing. Look at this one here. Yeah. You want to tell us about this incredible looking oh, thing? It's a boat in the Varsan Museum in Stockholm. And it's a galleon that sank on its maiden voyage and was preserved in the silt and then refloated and reconstructed. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Really worth a visit. It was commissioned, wasn't it, by somebody who basically didn't know anything about nautical engineering? I mean, yeah, pretty much history shaky, but the King of Sweden, I guess, commissioned it. And he was over ambitious because he wanted it to be the grandest ship in the world and put too many cannons on and too much weight above water and uh, consequently it blew over in the wind and sack. Oh, it's made in voyage, wasn't it? Probably Straight away. And tragic, no doubt, for the uh, crew. The crew. But, yeah, but anyway, it's preserved. It's almost, you know, impeccable. It's pretty brilliant. Oh, nice teeth. Oh yeah, I don't, no, I don't dwell on them because they are, that's some old and mighty and they're a bit off. It doesn't matter how I put them, they don't kind of match, do they? <laughs> Aww. Right, moving on, where are we going next? Let's quickly show the pictures in the bathroom. So this is IB's bathroom. Oh, that one's just done my, my brother, it's, uh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's a kind of geometric daffodil. I'm trying very hard not to get reflections of things in it. Right. This is why we've got a funny side angle. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? He does a lot of uh, geometric sort of art, which I've got. 
Beautiful. Now the, these two on the wall are quite funny because I bought these from a well-known retailer about 20 years ago and actually at the time I didn't think much of them and I bought them because I principally wanted the frames <laughs> and I told myself I was going to paint something better but of course I haven't painted anything better and in the interim I've got to rather like them so <laughs> Mr Speltz or wherever you are, it's done a nice job. And what reading has I be got on the go for his yeah. toilet reading? Yeah, I'm afraid it's a bit revealing, isn't it? Music production for beginners. Macro mixing for the small <laughs> recording studio. <laughs> it's all a bit theme it. Yeah. Audio effects, mixing and mastering. The recording engineer's handbook. You're going to be brilliant at this when we come <laughs> wow. out of lockdown. 56 mix tips for the small recording why, studio. Why did 56 and not 60 or 50? It seems a bit well, they, anyway. Yeah, they'd normally run it, you know. Anyway, networking all in one dummies. Yeah. And some toilet roll. Yeah, thank you. I'm not sure the roll. Well, you know. Moving um, on. Moving on. Into the hall. Right. Into the hall. Hanging on the hanger in the hall. There's a PA. Oh yeah, that's yeah. all the music. The public stuff. address system yeah, when we do it, our gigs, which we're not doing. It's tidy, but there it is. I'd say that's very tidy. On the wall to the right is some Christmas cards which done by my aunt. You've got a very artistic family, haven't you? Yes. Oh, the whole lot of you seem to be very creative indeed. And a couple of photos. That one was a picture of a hill in the Lake District where I nearly died, so it's a memento. And the others are just pictures around the house and garden in the winter. I don't remember seeing that ghastly looking dragon. Yeah, it's a wooden dragon, yeah. Well, he's perished now. Oh, that's why. I like this scene because it's reminiscent of like a Thomas Hardy book cover. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, that tree was hit that's by lightning gone. and it's now gone. Yeah. Got some canal pictures. Interesting. What's um, next? There's another one from my lad when he was young. That's lovely. And opposite is a picture which we can't find the owner of. Nobody in the family lays claim to it, but I'm convinced it was one of my brothers. Anyway, there it is. Oops. Into the man cave. Loads of instruments, none of which I can play well, but all of which I can mess around with. Yeah, band stuff, musicy stuff. Men and stuff, you know, gadgets and uh, wires and stuff. Some pictures on the wall, that, that one on the end, if you can get it, is my grandmother and mother and her sisters. So my mother is the one is the, the one in the middle. And the one on the right is the aunt who painted those pictures I showed you. Mm. Now this one you can reveal is... Uh, Which one? The second one along is a painting someone did at a gig, and it, that is me and a friend. So that's the invisible. You can see I'm invisible. They didn't. Uh, they, they only had an outline of me at the time. <laughs> Are we doing the one with the two stickies? Yeah, if you like. He's yeah. sticking himself out. Oh, there's some reflection. Hang on. Just, <laughs> oh, right there. I've got you on Zoom. You. So I've got it on Zoom so to avoid the reflections. All right. So right there we are. Some band more. pictures. He stickied himself out and put some question marks. Some you can tell. So one particularly from the hairdo you could tell was some years ago. <laughs> 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 that was really odd. And that a particular one. person in one of the photos that turned out to be a successful music producer and promoter. <laughs> what about this painting in the corner with the double bass? Well, that's the same artist at the same gig. He did a picture of uh, the band, and I'm on the left in that one. There we are. Not much else to see. Got me. It's my mag over oh, collection of instruments of various kinds. Right, the front room. Front room. Which is all blurry currently because it's just too dark in it. You've got the light, you can, uh, you can be oh, my lighting right. engineer right there. These pictures, I found these under a pile of rubble when I moved into this house in one of the outbuildings, literally under a pile of rubble. And I yes. unearthed them and cleaned them up and I thought, oh, they're going to be worth millions. <laughs> the one on the right's rather nice, the other one's a bit dull, but they're not worth millions. Did you get them priced up then? I did, yeah. They were worth pounds. Got a nice collection of zombie movies and, uh, dis <laughs> you know, those comedy disaster movies. Cold. Yeah. No, no, don't use them very much. It's not that cold in the UK, except... It's for a few weeks, once a year, isn't it? Yeah. And by sort of international standards, it's not even cold. I know. Yeah, compared to a lot of my subscribers, it's, it's quite mild here. Right. Up, up the stairs. Up the wooden hill, as my uh, old man used to say. <laughs> Nothing much to show up here, but mess, drying, washing. Bathroom. Oh, yeah, you can come in the bathroom. There's some nice pictures. 
a fish. Believe it or not, I painted the walls of the bathroom to match the pitch. Oh, right. <laughs> How sad is that? And this one. I thought, all they need is a nice blue background. There's another one of those insulating rolls. The trouble with sash, single glazed sash windows is if they work, i.e. move smoothly, they let air in. And if they don't let air in, they don't work. Yeah. So they're a nightmare. It's cold. Freezing. A lot of condensation on the windows as well. Yeah. I don't get that in my house really. Well, this is the spare room. Let me just get a long shot of the room. So yeah, this is your spare room, isn't it? It's, um, People are probably wondering what I was, why I was making the bed up in it. It's kind of the snore escape room, isn't Don't it? Don't say that. <laughs> the snore escape room. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like there's a whole industry in there. <laughs> it does, yeah. Uh, it's only there as a backup, isn't it? <laughs> Am I allowed to leave that in? Yeah, I've got a nice There's my suitcase, spare chair. There's nothing in here, really. fireplace. How old did you say the house was? When was it built? 1711 or something. 1711, did you say that already earlier? Yeah, so it's 310. Yeah, I was just saying that. I think a lino print or something that my mother did. And my dad was in the Merchant Navy for some time in his life when we were little. And as you can see, she's sort of waving off a ship. Yeah. And that's how I interpreted it. And there's where I'm set up at the moment. Another one of the brothers' pictures. Sort of Celtic y, geometric y art, aren't they? Yeah. Nice, fella. Really lovely. Fair thing to put away? Yeah, ready to be folded up. The dreaded fitted sheets. So we view in the morning is the uh, dreaded chili and pine. <laughs> he hates it, I think it's lovely. So there's the bed, here. Yeah. The bed. Wardrobe, I won't dwell on that. It's out of focus. Out. Wardrobe. So last of all, it's just Izzy's, uh, Izzy's room. Isabel. We are coming. I am coming in. Um, yeah, so we you saw this in the other vlog because I was in here doing no bedding, but yeah, there's a little desk, little bed, an extra heater just to keep it warmer, another fire, look, because it's from the ye olde days, and they've all got fires, haven't they, pretty much? Yeah. Posters. Yeah, it's just a spare room. And because we haven't really been here much, it's not looking very Isabelish. Because no. she hasn't been here, but it, it was a lot more. In the past, have you got anything to say about this room, I be? Oh, not really, because I, don't, I haven't been in it. We just cleaned it out when the uh, pandemic came, because you obviously weren't going to be in it for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you to Ivy, struggling to turn the vlogging light off now. Thank you to Ivy for that house tour. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.